All right, so we got a little bit of a problem over here. Uh, up here in the Midwest, we've been getting a lot of rain over the last few days, and it seems to be starting to mess with the fix. And one of this problem is that this uh, Italian 258 that I have actually started swelling up and changing colors. You can see up in here. Uh, let's see, where is it? Up in here. Yeah, here we go. So here is this one that actually is changing colors and actually has gotten darker and mud, gotten much bigger. I brought it indoors and actually had it sitting over there on the other side. But uh, what I did notice was that it actually has gotten firmer. Instead of getting softer, it actually has gotten firmer, which means that the pressure inside is still pretty high. And it actually is on the verge of rupture. I, f I am afraid of that. And if that actually ruptures, that means this actually could break overnight and the fig would be ruined. Obviously, I don't want to do that, and because of that, I brought it indoors, but I figured I'd just put it up here on this thing for now. For the video's sake, so it's actually a little bit easier to film. Uh, so one of the theories I had was to try to stop this from getting any firmer and actually rupturing instead of getting softer, because it actually has gotten harder as time has gone on. So I thought about it and I said, hmm, so we know that there's sap flow up and down this whole branch. We know that the whole tree actually runs by the sap and the sap actually drives the photosynthesis from the leaves and conversion of the sugars, etc., into the fig itself. So I thought, hmm, and the problem is that we've had quite a bit of rain. So with the amount of rain we've had, that actually has gotten absorbed by the plant, by the tree over here, whatever you want to call it, tree, plant, same thing. Um, it's very excessively high pressured at the moment, which is why it's actually swelling up the fig like that. And it has, in the last six hours or so that it's been indoors, it actually has gotten firmer rather than getting softer. And that's a problem. So I thought, hmm, how can we alleviate the pressure? And a thought came to me actually earlier was to actually, why not, instead of letting it do its thing, what we can do to avoid this problem from manifesting itself any further. And I thought, well, there has to be some way to reduce the pressure without actually plucking the fig. And that's when I got it, actually. I was thinking that I may actually end up punching a hole or compromising the uh, branch and let the sap flow out, drop the pressure in the tree whereby this will actually help save the fig. Then I said, hmm, I don't want to necessarily do that either. And then I was looking at the figs, and I noticed that there's several bunch up in here. And you can see like up and down that a whole other branch is also there all over the place. But this one over here, there's quite a bit. So this one actually is the most firmest one that is. It's fairly solid. And it's like a rock literally at this point, and there's no way that this is going to make it anyway this season. It's way too far behind still compared to this one or some of the other ones and since this is actually in the same branch literally inches away from the fig over here i figured hmm what if we actually just pop that off that may actually help alleviate the pressure in the branch and actually bring the pressure down and save the fig so that's what i'm going to do at this point is just go ahead and snap that fig off and let's see how this goes here we go we got that off and this you can see that there's sap actually already dripping out from here. Yep, there it is. And there's quite a bit of sap there as well. So we'll let it be and hopefully this will actually drop the pressure. And we'll check back again tomorrow and see if this fig is saved or did burst overnight anyway. Alright, that's it for now. And we'll check back in tomorrow with another video. Alright, that's it. Chicago Zone 5B, out.